let's get right into it. We'll begin by selecting the desired category. We'll select the spheres for starters. And let's select the spherical wedge. As seen by the instructions along the top, we must enter both inputs. We'll enter a radius of 2 and an angle of 90 degrees. Notice that the calculation was performed as soon as we entered the required number of inputs. We may want to use radians rather than degrees. This is easy to do. Press the degrees of the text label. Notice the value is now about half the value of pi, equivalent to the 90 degrees seen previously. To add the current volume result to the running total, press the sigma icon. Press add. Note that multiple shapes can be added and subtracted from this running total. To subtract the volume from the total, press subtract. To clear the running total, press clear. To exit, press close. Other shapes work the same way. Let's now select the segment of a cylinder. Select the cylinders category. And let's select cylinder segment. This time we are instructed to enter H plus any two inputs. We'll enter a radius of 7 first, as the order does not matter. We'll enter 8 for the fill height. We'll enter 11 for the cylinder height. Another feature seen here is the calculation of all the other parameters in addition to the volume and surface area. Watch how easy it is to enter another set of parameters. And one more time saving feature. When we change categories, the volume calculator remembers the last shape used in each category. While you are using volume calculator, look for the latest notifications relevant to this application or our other useful product releases. What's more, if you come up with any ideas or suggestions, you can leave us feedback directly from the info screen. Pressing send will open an instance of the web browser, sending us the message automatically. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.